Hey, what's going on guys? It's Thomas Owen and in this video I want to show you exactly how I was able to bank $26,438 in pure profit with one simple affiliate campaign running on Facebook ads. So stick around, we're going to get straight into it. Okay, so let's get into the meat and potatoes of this campaign. So you can see here, I'm inside my tracker, this is Binham. If you've seen any of my videos, um, you see me bang on about this tracking platform by far the best one I've ever used. So if you're into a tracker, if you need a tracker, if you wanna switch trackers or you don't have one yet and you're planning to get into affiliate marketing, driving paid traffic, highly recommend this platform. There's a link below, um, it's an affiliate link, I'll make a small commission, but you'll also get a free month's trial and also $50 off your second month. Um, and as a, a thank you for going through my link, if you send me your receipt, the details are below, but if you send me your receipt, I'll send you a, um, a bonus walkthrough video of how I set up the campaigns, how best to set up to make sure you can really drill into your data, how to utilize the data when we've got the data, you know, drill down and see where the pockets of profit are. So I'll send you that. If you send me your receipt, no issues at all. So anyway, let's get into it. So I wanted to show you the tracker. I wanted to show you the stats before we actually get into uh, the steps of how to do this. So you can see here, we've got 39,000 clicks, right? So that's people who click the ad in Facebook. Out of that, 39,000 people, 13,000 of them clicked through the landing page. So we send them to an advertorial style page, 13,000 people then clicked the link on the advertorial page that went to the offer, okay? And this offer is a, a Windows replacement offer. That gave us a 33% click-through rate on the landing page, which is pretty decent. And out of those 13,000 people, 2,472 of them submitted their information, requesting more information on that offer, okay? Which gave us a total conversion rate of 6.2. Our EPCs were, as in earnings per click, were $1.38 per click. And that cost per click is 0.7, so 70 cents per click, just less than 71. Uh, which gave us a total revenue of $54,384. And this is slightly off, and I'll show you in a minute. Cost of that, so our Facebook ad spend was $27,945. And again, it's slightly off. Uh, profit, $26,438. 14 cents and I think it is actually more there's more profit but we'll just keep it at that uh, it's still a good number right but I think it's slightly more it's more like 28 29 thousand that total ROI on those numbers is 94 percent you know so like twenty six thousand dollars is this was in February so you can see here first of February to the 29th of Feb you know that's what I've got it selected to we okay that and just minimize this that's nearly a thousand dollars a day in profit right that's not revenue this is profit um, which is awesome, right? Imagine doing that every single day. That's going to be like over a quarter million dollars a year in profit with one campaign. This is just one campaign that I'm running. I'm running six or seven at any one time. This one is probably the best, but you know, everything else combined is does pretty well. Um, okay, so I want to show you the steps from the start to the finish of what I did and how I was able to generate this amount of profit. So first things first, we wanna be able to sign up to an affiliate network. We need an affiliate network. This is a lead gen offer. This is basically where we send traffic to an offer. They then submit their information for whatever the offer is, and then we get paid on that lead. Now there's a ton of different offers and niches that you can get into. Everything from insurance, mortgage, home improvement, solar, etc. There's a ton of different categories that you can look at doing. This is Windows, this is home improvement. I have quite a big foothold in the home improvement game. Um, just from my agency work, if you've seen a bit of my backstory, you'll know that I had a, an agency previous and I did a lot in roofing and solar, etc. Um, so I transitioned and started pushing, using what I already knew worked and pushed it to affiliate marketing uh, and obviously got quite a good result from it so far. So first things first, affiliate network, you need to sign up. There's a ton out there, there really is, and a ton of really good ones, and some you know shady ones as well, so you need to know. So Click Dealer is the one that I recommend. Again, there's a link below, which you can sign up to Click Dealer through my link. I'll also help you with your stuff as a bonus if you, if you do go through that link, uh, and you'll also be um, allocated to the same affiliate manager that I use uh, and who, who helps me with my campaigns. Really good, it's called Kyle. So the first thing we need to do is we need to sign up to an affiliate network. Now there's a ton out there. Click Dealer is the one that I really recommend. They've been around for years. They have a range of really good offers. Their affiliate managers are second to none. Um, and it's just a cool platform. They pay regularly, you know, never missed a payment or anything like that. So, you know, it's a, a really good network to work with. So if we jump over, so sign up for Click Dealer for 
this network. If you're already working with a network, then that's cool. So there's a few others out there that I recommend. A4D uh, are really good as well. And I have an account with those guys. You know, there's Clickbooth, which are, are also good. They've just changed the name to Performance CB, I think. I can't remember the exact name, but they're good as well. They've got a range of really good offers. So ClickNail is the one that I recommend that you get started with. So once you've got signed up, you've, you know, you'll go into the approval process. It's usually 24, 48 hours then you'll get access to the platform. So I've just got this open to, again, match up with what we saw in the tracker. So we had a revenue of $54,384. So this is the Windows offer. This is the exact same dates. And you can see that we've got $49,280 in there. However, there was also a second offer for Windows, which, so you've got this top one here, which is the 49,280. So I'm gonna get a calculator out in a minute. And then we've also got this offer down here, which is the exact same offer, but on a lower payout. This is what I was generating traffic with, and then I started getting good quality and good feedback, so they bumped me up to a $24 payout on a new offer. Um, same offer, but a new link. And this one has $8,536 in revenue. So add to that, it's around $57,000, which you know is a little bit more than what we're um, accounting for in the tracker, which I said before, you know, it's a slight discrepancy. So it's around three thousand dollars more in revenue, which would actually push us up to twenty nine thousand dollars in profit, which would equal that thousand dollar a day profit. But I'm not too fussed, you know. It's uh, I'm not going to do the exact numbers. I want to show you what's going on rather than uh, bang on about the numbers. Okay, so once you signed up, once you've got access. You need to ask your affiliate manager for the best converting lead gen offers. If you're wanting to go down this route of uh, promoting lead gen offers, ask them what are getting the most volume, their, you know, what their EPCs are, and also that allow Facebook ads traffic. They'll give you a list of the lead gen offers that are working, and then you can have a look through, you can, pick, you can take the advice of the affiliate manager to see, you know, have a go at one of the offers, or you can pick one on your own. Um, but there's a ton of different offers. We'll have a quick look gonna to go to browse under offers so you can choose a country you can filter all this by country we'll just choose United States under vertical so you know we you can see all the verticals that they've got adult binary options bingo business ops CBD cams casual dating crypto diet weight loss drop shipping e-com financial gambling etc all of these different verticals that you can look at I want to go to the home improvement one and apply Okay, so here's our home improvement campaigns. And you can see I've got active next to all of these. I'm um, approved for all of these. I'm gonna start a campaign for the walking safety tubs and the bathroom remodels, hopefully today, maybe tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. But you can see all of these that you can then go through. So like, here's our Windows one down here. So I select that, so it opens up. You'd have to apply for it or your affiliate manager will approve you for it. And then you can see the payout, you can see what it is, what it pays out on, email submit, single opt-in, you know, what they recommend, male, female, 45 plus. And then you can see, you know, the cap, what you can send. And then I said, I think I mentioned this before, the offer has started to pull back because of this coronavirus, right? So like the, um, they're selling leads to contractors that fit windows. And now with this coronavirus, obviously contractors are shutting up shop. They're not looking for as many leads. They're trying to reduce their ad spend, their marketing budget. So now they're pulling back in all these states, which is why I've had to reduce my campaign as well. So I went from doing that, you know, $30,000 or whatever the profit was in February, had a decent month in March, but slightly lower because they started pulling back in a few states. And then going into April now, which we're at the beginning of April, they've actually removed all of these states as well. So it's like half of the states in the US are no longer accepting um, traffic. OK, so um, if we're still running and I'm still profitable, but, you know, nowhere near as much volume as what I was running in um, February and March. So, OK, so once you find an offer that you like, you know, you can grab the link. You can install your postback URL, which tracks the conversion in the tracker. You can install your Facebook pixel down here. All right, so what I like to do when I'm looking at an offer is I like to take the link and I like to open it up and I like to not see that, okay? But obviously I'm in the UK, right? So sometimes this will, um, sometimes the offers won't show for me because they only show to that country's traffic, right, through the link. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the actual URL because I know what it is. So this is the URL and it's slightly different landing page. They've changed it a little bit, but 
you know, it's on this URL. Now, if you've seen my ClickBank video, which I'll link to it below, you'll, you'll know exactly what I'm going to do here. So we did this with the native ad spy tool. I like to take the URL and then I like to go and have a little bit of a spy. Now, I highly recommend this tool for spying on Facebook ads. It's called adspy.com. It's a very, very good tool. Again, there's a bonus below where you'll also get a little bit of a discount if you go through my link. Um, and I'll also give you, again, another bonus walkthrough video of how I use this really, really effectively. So, and, I, and you know, if you don't want to go through my link, that's fine as well. I will make a small commission, but um, I'll show you exactly what I do here anyway. You know, I want to put a landing page URL and I want to add to filters. And I'm not going to spend too much time. And then I want to look at the ads that are running, right? So, like, we can see all these ads running. They're all very, very similar ads running. This is basically showing us ads that are linking to this URL. So we can go through here. We can get an idea of what's working, what people are running, what pages are running, you know, these, these uh, ads. And that allows us to then have a little bit of a spy. So let's go and have a look at this one, Homeowner Logic. So let's open this one up. So, I like, so you can basically open this up in, in Facebook, which is what I like to do. So here we go, we'll open it up in Facebook. We can see the ad, we can grab the image if we wanted to. Um, we can have a look through the questions, etc. We can also click through and we can see their landing page, right? So now we see their landing page, sort of like a, a blog style advertorial, very similar to what we're running or what I'm running. Uh, and you can see the headline, etc., etc. Click through, see if it'll open up for me, probably won't. Oh yeah, it will. Okay, and then we go back to the offer, right? So we've got an idea as what, of what's working, what's running. We can also now we found a page that's promoting this offer. We can go to page transparency and we can see what else they're running. If they're running any other offers, if they're running any other types of ads. Um, so we'll change UK to all, see what they've got going on. So they're still running these windows offer. You can see they're doing state call outs. So they're obviously, you know, with these state reductions, they're trying to call out certain states, so Idaho, Florida, Oklahoma. We can see that these were published on March 27th, so about 10 days ago. Uh, Wisconsin, Colorado, Connecticut, Nebraska, Rhode Island. So they're only running Windows, right? So again, and, and they're only running the exact same ad across different states. So, But we can see, you know, they're targeting certain states. So that's maybe something that we can take into account. So let's go from there. So we've got their landing page. We know what they're running. So then what I want to do is I want to take, well, we don't have to take the landing page. I'll show you something pretty cool though. So what I do if we wanted to really... I want to find the right words. If you really wanted to skimp, um, and this is totally probably not legal, um, but if we wanted to really skimp and, and, you know, swipe exactly what they're doing, and these are all my landers, by the way, for this Windows offer. I'm not going to go too much into it, but you can see I've got like a blue bar, which is a blog. So it's like a blog style lander with a menu. Um, and you can see the landers that I'm using, the images, etc. Uh, I'm not going to open them up, but you can see the exact ones that I'm using. But what I can do here, this is Convertry. This is my the landing page builder that I use. You know, there's a ton out there. Again, highly recommend this one when you're running paid traffic. It's probably the fastest one out there. Is in the fastest loading. You know, under a second, page pops up. Compare that to other platforms. Um, you know, it can take a few seconds because it's so bloated with code that you know it slows down the page time so when you're running paid traffic and you're paying for these clicks you want that page to be loading fast you know like people will bounce off that page if it takes too long to load up uh, another thing that i know about certain platforms is they often have a lot of downtime whereas so i've been using convertry i don't think it's ever been down whilst i've been using it but anyway what we can do and i just want to show you that this is one of the tools it's not supposed to be for this but we can really get a bit sneaky here and select import page and we can Bring in our URL, select this box and call it sneaky or whatever you want to call the page, if I can spell it right, and select import. And this just saves a whole bunch of time. And I have used this, but I don't use it for, for these campaigns. You can see my pages are totally different. Um, but what this allows us to do, and we do have to edit it a little bit, but if we go and edit this page that we've just imported, boom, we've got their exact page. Okay, the, the, you know, the menus come in, the headline, the image, the text. It's, just, it's their page, right? So that saves us a whole bunch of time in building new pages. Now, obviously, I really, I just wanted to show you one of the cool tools that or features that Convertry has. This is perfect for if you have an existing website and you want to port it over to, to Convertry. 
makes it very easy to do so without having to rebuild everything. And obviously, if you wanted to be really sneaky and do that, but don't recommend that at all. <laughs> that at all. But I want to show you that it's a pretty cool tool. Okay, so now we've got our ads, we've got our landing page, we've got our offer, okay? So there's one thing I wanna just touch on real quick that can make a big, big difference to what you're doing. So usually our flow would be ad, advertorial, offer, okay? So we're paying for the click, sending them, they go to the offer, they convert, we make a commission, all right? Which is how 99% of lead gen affiliates do it, right? That's what they do. However, there's a way that you can really maximize your monetization. It's a little bit more long-term, but it's building an asset. So remember I said I had a blog. I have a home improvement style blog. That's where I run these offers from, the same URL, but through advertorials. But you can see I've got this blog post there as well. Now that can be seen as an asset, right? I've got this home improvement blog. I've got these offers that I'm running. I've got these ads that are proven to work, these advertorials. I'm building an asset. Now, and my Facebook page is building up thousands of followers, Instagram, etc. Now, there's one other thing that I could do here, and that's build an email list. So what I could do is on my offer, on my advertorial page, when they click the button to go through, I could pop up an email asking to subscribe to the list for home improvement notifications or discounts or whatever, and then send them to the offer after they submit their email. So then I capture their email. I'm already paying for the traffic, so I may as well try and really monetize that a little bit more by capturing their email. That then allows me to remarket to them later down the line. I know I've got a homeowner on my list or, or very likely I've got a homeowner so I can send other offers such as you know, HVAC, windows, roofing, solar, home insurance, life insurance, home warranty, home security. I've got all of these offers that I can send to them over you know, the period of maybe six, 12, however many years and really you know, increase my earnings per click, per visitor, per subscriber, whatever you want to call it. So that's a very, very um, good tip to take into an account. Now, some of the networks and some of the offers don't like you to do that. They don't want you to capture their information before you then send them where they need to capture their information. However, you know, and that's great and everything, but at the end of the day, you're paying for that traffic. That traffic is yours until they hit that offer page. All right, so, you know, it's, there's two ways about it. You don't have to, and I do this, for a lot of my campaigns and I also don't do it. I, you know, I have campaigns, I have pages that don't have the opt-in and they just go straight to the offer. I have other pages that capture the email and then, you know, take them to the offer or take them to a thank you page with sort of like a listicle style, you know, here's a windows offer, here's a roofing offer, here's a home insurance offer, here's home security, all on the same page. And, you know, the visitor can then go and click the, you know, ads or the offers that they want. Um, so to do that, you need an email responder. And now there's a ton out there the one I recommend is Active Campaign. And Active Campaign allows you to not only capture their email and remarket to them, etc. It's like a CRM. So you can really get really granular with the data that you collect. So you get in these email lists, you can segment them, you can set up actions and um, to happen on certain actions that that subscriber takes. Really, really good. So I'm just going to skip over to it. I'm not going to spend much time, but this is one of my active campaign accounts. And you can see I've got a home improvements list here of 15,000 people. Now, obviously, those 15,000 people have opted in for a few different offers, windows, roofing, HVAC, etc. So, you know, they're not all super tight. I know these guys want windows, but they are all homeowners, right? You know, the offer that I'm sending them to is for a homeowner to get a quote for new windows or for, you know, a new roof or new HVAC system. So, you know, it's um, a really good list that I can now monetize to later down the line and I, and I do so and be able to make more money. I can send them more offers. I can send them different, you know, products, different, you know, sweepstakes. There's a ton of things that I can do here that I can really maximize my earnings per subscriber, um, which as well, going back to building an asset, I have the blog, I have Facebook page, Instagram, etc. So I've got that network of things going on. I've got a private Facebook group and I've also got a email list. All right. So when maybe a few years down the line, I, I want to, you know, sell this business and I'm making however much a month from the email list alone and from the followers that I've built with this asset, you know, I can ask for a much higher asking price rather than, you know, just selling an advertorial and some Facebook ads that, you know, might work, might not work. So this is way more, um, valuable to a potential buyer to build to buy an actual brand with an asset so that's just food for thought i wanted to touch on that i think it's quite important but like i said like there's 
it's a bit of a grey area with some of the affiliate networks and some of the offer owners as well. So it's always good to check. I like to be transparent with the people that I work with and you know let them know that's what I want to do and I want the offers that I can do. The offers that I have that I'm running for Windows, they're that advertiser, they don't allow it. But the other offers that I've run in the past for roofing, etc., they do allow it. Uh, so I've been able to build a list up on the back of it. If you do want to have a look at Active Campaign, <laughs> I've got another special bonus for you. Um, so there's a link below in the recommended section. Uh, and again, you can opt into that and sign up to Active Campaign through my link. Again, I'll make a small commission, but I will also give you a bonus of giving you the um, exact follow up sequence. It's a 30 day follow up sequence where there's 30 emails sent automatically to your subscribers that opt in. And this is based on a range of homeowner offers. So I said life insurance, there's emails for life insurance, for remortgage, for home warranty, home security, a range of home improvement offers. So if you're interested in that, sign up for my link. Again, send me the receipt uh, and I will be sure to share the code for that follow-up sequence, which you can then straight away import into your active campaign account. Uh, and get it up and running within seconds. So let me know, again, details below how to claim that bonus, but onto this, uh, onto the rest of this video. All right, so we've now got our ads, our landing page, our offer. Maybe you capture an email, maybe you're not. Um, you know, if you're starting out, maybe it's a good idea just to send straight to the offer after the advertorial, just because, you know, you might be limited on budget. When you're adding that email option in, your conversion rate usually drops as in your landing landing page click through rate will drop so maybe you know i've been getting 33 percent maybe that'll drop to 28 percent or 25 percent less people clicking through means less people seeing the offer um whereas the email list is more long term like i'll get an email subscriber and maybe they will opt into an offer for you know two or three weeks so i won't get that money back until later down the line right so uh, depending on what you want to do, it's totally up to you. So once you've got that sorted and you, and you know what you're doing, it's time to move on into your tracker. And I'm not going to go too far into it. Again, this is in a bonus walkthrough where you can set this up. Uh, I show you exactly how to set it up in that bonus video uh, where I walk you through setting up a, a Binum campaign. But you basically add in your campaign, your landing page, URLs, um, sort out where your traffic source is, the offer link, etc. And then you go through to grab your campaign link and start building out your ads in Facebook. So let's jump over to the ads manager. First off, what you wanna do, and I, I'm in the actual ad account, that, and again, I've got this set up to February 1st to February 20. I'm just blocking this out because I'm in a different business manager for some reason. But February 1st to February 29th, so we can see here, we spent $27,738. So again, we're a slight discrepancy of $200, right? So even more profit, that. You know, I wasn't accounting for, so we're, we are pretty much touching thirty thousand dollars profit, um, which is awesome. But you can also see the amount of leads, etc. Again, slight discrepancies there. I think trackers um, accounting for more. The trackers more accurate in tracking the leads uh, as opposed to Facebook. Facebook has is you know <laughs> pretty um, up and down with their tracking ability. And you can see we've still got some active stuff going on and we're in certain states, Wisconsin, Colorado, Florida, Massachusetts, that are running right now. Um, so February 1st, February 29th, we spent 27,000, so we know exactly what we did. Now, when it comes to setting up your campaign, really simple. First thing you need to do, if you don't already have one, is go to business.facebook.com, set up a business account, a business manager, uh, and you can do that by logging in with your Facebook profile, your personal profile, and then just follow the steps, really simple how to do. Then you wanna create an ad account, create a Facebook page if you don't already have one. You need to set up a pixel, a Facebook pixel, and then you need to drop it in the offer, so like where we went to before, if we open up this offer. Here's my pixel down here in the HTML pixel. You can get your affiliate manager to drop this in for you. So don't worry about it too much if, if this is gonna you know, confuse you. You can just drop it to your affiliate manager and they'll take care of it. Really simple how to do. You can just basically follow the steps in Facebook, but basically you wanna go to your events manager page, set up a pixel, away you go. You can also do it from the business settings page as well. Then when you've got everything sorted, your pixels on the page, your pixels also on your landing page, I like to use something called Tag Manager. It allows me to fire off different events. So like if I change this here, stats, I can track you know, how many people 
click through to the advertorial, how much it's costing me, the people who click on the advertorial and go through to the offer page. All right, so that's also something you can do through Tag Manager. You can set up different events based off of different clicks because I can't put my pixel on the actual offer page. I fire it after they submit their information. So it's important to point out. When you've got everything sorted, you set up your campaign. I like to structure my Facebook ad campaigns initially using CBO and I go straight for conversion. So I'm optimizing for lead. Uh, and obviously if we just jump back to click dealer, you can see here, I've got the lead event inside this pixel. So when someone submits the offer, submits their information, they're gonna fire the lead event. And so then with the Facebook style things, with a new offer that you don't have any data, you don't know what you're gonna be really, um, you, you know, you're starting from scratch, a new pixel, new ad account, one campaign, CBO. So let's say my budget is $100 a day. That's a CBO campaign. And then I like to have five ad sets, all right? So I'll have, you know, if I've got data, as in I've got pet, like data on the pixel, I'll have a couple of lookalikes and a couple of interests and maybe one broad ad set. If not, you know, I'll go all interests and one broad. So interest for Windows, home insurance has been a big one for, uh, for me. So like home insurance interest, so Geico, USAA, Progressive, insurance, those type of interests have been good to try and drill down and hit homeowners. Um, personal finance has been a good one for all our home improvement campaigns. I'm trying to think what else has been working really well. Nowadays, we just run broad. You can see here, broad. Interest, I think this is a home insurance interest, but one interest that did work well for the Windows offer was gardening. So gardening interests worked really well. So I compile, you know, four or five different ad sets with different targeting. Now, so I might have one for home insurance interest, one for gardening, one for personal finance, you know, maybe one broad targeting just men, one broad targeting just women, 40 plus, it would be the age range, trying to drill down and find the homeowners. Um, and then in each ad set, I'd, depending on, on how much budget I have, I'd, if, I, if my budget's decent, I'll start with dynamic. So like I'd set the ad set. So what I'll do is I'll show you right now what we do. This is a broad ad set targeting state. So you could do this as well if you wanted to drill down and target state. So I go into edit and target by state, 40 plus, just targeting women here, excluding page admins and also should be excluding leads as well. We don't wanna be showing our ads to people who've already completed the, um, the thing. And actually we're just showing to mobile on this one as well. So that's how I set up the ad set. And then if I, I this is dynamic as well. So then if we go through to the dynamic video ad, you're gonna see we've got this image, two videos, okay? So this is what I'm running. I had these videos created. Um, and then the ad copy here. So this is what I'm doing. I've got three, I've got an image, I've got two videos, I've got two versions of ad copy, and then, and then two headlines as well. So there's like three creatives, two, so six. So there's like 12 different variations of ad, right? So there's uh, the image with headline one, Ad copy one, the image with headline one, ad copy two, the image. So I, I can't even think what how many there'd be, but it's definitely multiple <laughs> variations of ad, right? So then basically I, I run that data. Now, usually if my budget's low, I think we're spending about $1,000 a day here, but if my budget's quite low, I wouldn't test as much, right? I'd maybe have three creatives, three to five creatives, one ad copy, two headlines. And then after, you know, four or five days, I've got a decent amount of leads and clicks and everything else. I then analyze the data. So what I can do, you know, if we move this to lifetime, so we've got a bit more data, I go to breakdown, dynamic creative, and then I'd look at the image, video, and slideshow option, and you can see everything's coming through to this image, right? So this video, these two videos have hardly had any, um, any impressions at all. They've just reached 70, 70 odd people. And then what I can do is I can also go to text, so which ad copy is working best? I see this one with the Capital Wisconsin homeowners, slightly cheaper per lead, um, as opposed to $16. So not too much in it there, so I won't be too bothered about that. Then the headline, again, really close. So again, this would need more testing. However, this one hasn't spent anywhere near the, um, the top one, right? So just food for four, always good to test. Uh, so when I find what's working, so maybe image one, is outperforming by miles, I'd give everything a fair test. I wanna be able to see those videos. So now what I might do is I might go in, take that image out or create a new ad set and just have the videos to allow them to get some reach. 
but basically um, I want to find out what creatives working once I found that out I want to see what headlines working what ad copies working then I'd take that combination of what's working put it into its own ad set turn off dynamic and just let that combination run okay so I'm just taking the best of, of what I've been testing again this can be done in a sandbox campaign which is basically a very small low spending campaign where all you're doing is testing you know it's not your main campaign you're just testing different ad copies different images different videos different headlines different audiences and once you find a combination of winning ingredients you move them into your main campaign and you hope that they take off <laughs> at what they were performing like in the, in the sandbox so that's food for thought as well um, and then as you go, you cross-reference the data in Facebook ads platform with your tracking data and you optimize, okay? So again, you can drill down, you, you know, you're testing different landing pages in your tracker so you can optimize that way. And then you can also optimize by looking at what operating services are working best, what placements in Facebook. So like we can drill down and obviously we did this. Um, let's go back to the ad set level. We can drill down and look in by delivery. We can see the age range where people are sitting at. So again, you know, we can see that 45 to 54, 45 to 54, 65 plus. That's all really close in Florida. 45 to 54, 65 plus. 55, 64 is all right as well. So maybe we go in and maybe we see that, you know, on the whole grandest uh, scheme of things, 35 to 54 is quite expensive. So maybe we change from 40 plus to 45 plus, And then we're just hitting these pockets here. All right. And then we can also do the same with gender. And I think we've already done this. Or I've already done this. I think um, men weren't converting as, as well as females. So I think most of these ad sets are towards females. Yeah, there's some down here, look. Um, and then you can also have a look and see what states. Obviously, I'm targeting regions anyway, so there's no point in looking at that. But you can also look at placement. And placement will show you where on the ads platform, you know, you're getting the results. So obviously, we're just targeting mobile with that Wisconsin ad. But you can see here, we've got a range of different placements all running, right? So we can see audience network mobile app has had three leads, one lead for the desktop news feed. 11 leads for mobile app and is out of our KPI. So we're getting paid $24 a lead here and this is $25. So maybe we um, need to remove the mobile app placement, you know, and let this run. Overall, it's, it's pretty much break even. Um, so that's interesting to look at. And this campaign hasn't been, these ad sets haven't been running too long. Florida, audience network. The web app is, so like people going on their mobile phone on Chrome or, or a browser. Uh, going on Facebook, Facebook that way, you can't really exclude that, but you can see our mobile app is converting at $15, $10 for instant articles, $13 for the marketplace, $10 for Instagram feed, 11 for Instagram stories. Um, so like if you wanted to, you could get granular and start splitting out the placements to further optimize. Facebook recommend you do auto placements and that's what I tend to do on most of my campaigns until I find data and then I can look at, you know, uh, scale into different placements and segmenting those placements. So again, this is just looking at ways to optimize your campaign. You can look at the ad account time, the viewers time zone. Again, you can cross reference this in your tracker, but that's pretty much it. You then go and you cut anything that's not working or too expensive and you'd allow the budget to flow through to what is working and what is profitable and obviously keep on going from there. And when things start to get negative again and you know, as they always do, your ads burn out, you know, they get more expensive, etc. You introduce new ads. That's why a sandbox campaign running at, you know, twenty dollars a day in the background, testing new things all the time is a really good idea because then you've got something constantly to bring into this main campaign once your existing uh, creatives die out so that's a really good idea as well anyway hope you've got something from this i really do i know it's been a, a little bit of a long video i wasn't intending for it to be that long but i hope you've got something from it um i hope there's some values there's some actionable content that you can take like i said throughout the video below there are a list of recommended tools you know softwares resources that i recommend and use daily with my campaigns that i really think help um again I think all of them are affiliate links, so I will make a small commission if you sign up. However, each one does have a small bonus to it to make it worthwhile for, for you doing that and, and to obviously say thank you for, for going through my link. So if you do want access to any of those, make sure you sign up below. Uh, again, if you want to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, send me a friend request. If you subscribe to the YouTube channel, it'd be massively appreciated. Um, and yeah, I hope to speak to you soon and I hope you got some value. Cheers, guys.